Bali rainy season. When is it? How bad does it get? Is it going to ruin my holiday? Is it even worth visiting Bali during rainy season? Let's get into it. We've been in Bali now for two months since the middle of September. It is now the middle of November. Rainy season is in full swing and we are ready to leave. Let's explain why. Rainy season starts at the middle of October and lasts till about the end of February. It's not bad at first. November is when you start to see more rainy days. If you look at this graph posted by Bali.com, you'll see that January is the month that gets the most amount of rain. So maybe you've booked your holiday for December and January and you're panicking now. You're like, Clear! oh my gosh, I'm going to get rained out. Just wait, don't panic. It actually depends on where you are and what you are coming here for. If you are here for a beach holiday, make sure you're up early in the morning and at the beach so that you can enjoy some of the sunny parts before it starts to rain, usually at around 12, 1 o'clock. But if you are here for the beach holiday, you'll generally be down in Sanur, Nusa Dua or Uluwatu where it rains a lot less. So you might not have to worry at all. So one thing about rainy season in Bali is it actually depends where in Bali you are. So if you spend majority of your time in a place like Ubud, you're probably going to get rained out. We are heading to a bit now. We're coming from Changu. It's a little bit overcast, but not much rain at all. And you'll probably find as soon as we get to a bit, there'll be a lot more rain. But who knows? Let's go and see. So we've made it to a bit and Claire was spot on. It has begun to rain. This is exactly one of the negatives about the rainy season is when you leave the cafe you got to go somewhere right and invariably you're going to be going in the rain so you need your ponchos you need your rain jackets because even the slightest little bit of rain gets you totally soaked by the time you get to where you're going the rain is when it stops raining it goes back to being really hot and then this turns into like a little hot box and you actually sweat and it gets stuck on you it's tough rainy season is a bit tough right? but it's cool <laughs> if you're coming to Ubud and spending majority of your time here which if you're coming to Bali for the first time that's what you're going to do because Ubud has all the fun stuff and all the attractions then this is actually what most of your days will look like there's a lot of cloud cover you won't actually see a lot of blue skies there's sun coming in and out it's sunny right now it'll be overcast and a bit cool in a minute and then in a few hours time it will start raining to be honest, the cloud cover can actually start to get to you if you're living here for a long period of time. And that's why on the Bali expats groups, there's a lot of expats that are actually moving out of Ubud. They say there's too much rain in rainy season, too much cloud cover, and there's barely anything you can do when it does rain. So do take that into account if you've got a lot planned. It'll be a tricky situation because Ubud is at a higher elevation and it does naturally see more rainfall than say Changu or Uluwatu. And if you're heading further into the mountains like Munduk and Northern Bali, well then it'll be solidly raining there as well. Not great, but you know, there are certain times where you get some blue skies and sunny days popping in between. It's really the luck of the draw. Okay, next up, let's talk about if you're here for a short trip. You've been saving up for your honeymoon. It's a very special occasion. You're only gonna be in Bali for a limited number of days. We really don't recommend you book in rainy season if that's the case. We just don't want you to be disappointed if you're there on Nusa Penida, you want to visit Diamond Beach and it's pouring with rain. You've got this amazing accommodation at this beautiful beach resort and it's raining, raining, raining. 
you're gonna save a lot of money and you could potentially be wasting that money. So definitely consider planning in the drier months. So right now I'm filming a time lapse for this video and I was expecting it to rain because it's been raining the last three days in a row, literally like clockwork, between 11 and 1 p.m. It's just been raining, raining, raining. But today, blue skies, a beautiful blue sky day in the middle of the wet season, which can totally happen. It's really just the luck of the draw. to Digital Nomad here specifically in Changgu like we are I'll be honest it's not a vibe in rainy season one of two things happens so you come to the cafes to co-work and everything you get there in the morning it's all good it's pretty sunny like right now look we actually have like relatively blue skies but then when 1 p.m. 2 p.m. comes the rain comes and then it's so freaking hard to get around and motorbike everywhere and you get completely drenched even if you are driving like one kilometer away like here yeah, I come to coast all the time and home is like not even it's like two kilometers away but I get completely drenched on the motorbike or if it doesn't rain it's super humid so you have to be very picky about your cafes that you're choosing like now I'm actually leaving coast because it's too humid for me to work there because it's not an air-conditioned cafe so that's another thing you have to hunt down air-conditioned cafes and they're few and far between so yeah it's not been fun it's actually been oh gosh it's been pretty uncomfortable on those rainy days it's super hot I'm like actually sweating so much right now it's so so hot and humid I for one definitely struggle with rainy season because I can just go stand outside and hold the camera in my hands and I am sweating from top to bottom I'm just absolutely drenched so it's definitely a lot more humid here in rainy season. The temperature goes up by a good one to at least three degrees. Definitely hotter, definitely more humid, and obviously it rains virtually every day. That's why you'll see me in a bikini often during rainy season. It's just too hot, sticky, and sweaty, and humid. Ooh. Definitely feel like you need to go and shower basically every time you leave the air-conditioned room. So yeah, digital nomading in Changu, not really a vibe, hey? quite sad this obviously doesn't apply to you if you're one of those nomads that have your own villa and pool and kitchen and you know everything's there in your beautiful big villa then this doesn't apply to you because you don't have to leave the house to work you don't have to order food online that's another thing grabs and gojeks don't really operate when it's raining so you can't order food if you don't have a good enough kitchen like we don't our kitchen is pretty shitty then you have to order food or go out to eat oh, it's just it can be a little annoying to be honest uh, so be warned if you're coming to nomad in bali during the rainy season it can be quite tough oh and one more thing to add uh the wi-fi drops quite often when it's raining i don't know i think it's because all the the lte towers and stuff i don't know yeah when it rains the wi-fi drops it's tough guys and that is actually why Rhett and I have decided to go home actually because well Cape Town South Africa our home is amazing it's also an awesome digital nomad hotspot the weather is incredible right now it's our summer the beaches are full there's no rain so yeah there's just no reason for us to stay here in Bali anymore may as well go home be with family and friends and enjoy the summer and then we'll be back in Bali when the weather's good again <laughs> which will be in like Feb March April we'll be jumping between Cape Town and Bali because those are our two favorite digital nomad spots in the world they're honestly like home both places to us but yeah Bali's just I don't know it's not a vibe in rainy season for us particularly no rain today but so I'm not gonna get soaked on the way home so yeah with all that complaining about the rain and stuff there are just random days where there's blue skies and sun and it's super hot, no rain. Once again, I think we've said it two times already in this video, but it's the luck of the draw. You get good days, but sometimes you get like three solid days of rain and it's just mizzy. It's so hot and humid right now that barely anyone is out. 
Everyone's in their villas, in the air conditioning. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I need to get into the air conditioning. I'm back home in the air conditioning and ordered some grab food. This is what we do every day. We basically sit in this room, <laughs> on the bed, work here, eat here. Eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's comfort, uh, comfort food and drinks. Okay? <laughs> food and drinks. Life's hard in rainy season. Life's hard in rainy season. And we've got a Balinese wedding we're going to in like less than an hour. Hopefully it doesn't get rained out though, but I'm seeing the crowds. Ugh. Getting wedding ready. <laughs> Ibu and Ari are helping. Yeah. Trevi, let's see your outfit. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. This is my outfit. Very colorful. Sheesh! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Pretty princess! Pretty pretty! <laughs> It's our friends Andy and Ayu's wedding today. I think this is like the third of all the festivities. There's so many days that go into a wedding. We're not sure what's meant to be happening, but we've been given some snacks and a beer, so yeah. we can't complain. Nice. <laughs> We had such an awesome time at the wedding yesterday and it didn't get rained out, thank goodness. It was our first Balinese wedding ever. Dude, listen to the construction. Changu is really something else. It's the next morning, we've come to Sari Cafe because we're actually leaving for Cape Town tomorrow and we're about to get rained out. Look at the storm brewing behind me. So we're gonna quickly pack up all of our gear and our compu computers and quickly head home before we get drenched. But it's so ominous, the birds start flying around and everything when the storm's coming. Mm, it's starting. The rain's starting. I don't think we're gonna make it. Panic, panic. <laughs> Because we're belated, but you have these thingies <laughs> that you meant to wear. Oh my god! But we were too lazy to put it on. No, Trav! At an Indomart or any little shop, and they're only like 50,000 right here. Oh my god. You just keep them in your scooter, but too lazy to put it on. Oh no. It is our last day in Barbie, though, so. I mean, just embrace it, right? Whee! <sighs> yeah, it got you again. <laughs> but it's fine, you know, it's a free shower. I didn't think it's a video. <laughs> video. Yeah. Oh, that's Inception. How did that get there? <laughs> Look at it. Oh. And it only just started. Yeah. Only just started. Got, just looks like you, yeah, not today. You just got only time. Yeah. We're panicked though. <laughs> 